Hello everyone, it is from Plays here, back again with another video. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Good day, it's been a while. Um, sorry for the delay of videos. Uh, I've been working a bunch on getting things out for the Vibe game, and the reason why I'm working on my Vibe game at the moment is because when I work on mine, I add on to it, and then I give you guys the stuff, because then it's like, you know, it works out, so it's all a good thing. Um, we do have a lot coming. Uh, after this video, I'm actually going to post about badges and like an auto chat system pretty easy the reason i'm doing multiple videos guys too is because i don't want everything to be in one video and the more for me to get audience i have to do certain different titles and i want other people to find my videos you know um but yeah so in this video we're going to be doing the overhead donation guis and the board um it's an updated version of the vip handler script of like how we have the overhead guis so it's it's an updated version um, but yeah, before we start this video, please feel subscribe. It's in the description, uh, or just you know click the button now and put on post notifications. If you do, it means a lot, you guys, and you'll get notified when I post new videos and when I am live. So that's pretty sick. Also, feel free to join the Discord. We are at like 200 members. It is uh, it's pretty damn good. We we're doing great, guys. So um, yeah, join that. Uh, it means a lot. And uh, if you are in the live streams most of the time, feel free to join the group. Um, you can find me there and everyone else there. We have all our merchandise there too, and by that I mean like the shirts and the pants and everything like that. And it's pretty fun because normally when you go raid games or something like that, it's good to look at. But um, yeah, so uh, we're going to just dive right into this. Um, but yeah, feel free to subscribe, comment, and like. And yeah, let's get into this, guys. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so it's pretty simple. Um, all you got to do is go in the description right now and look for the little models. And feel free to grab this. This is going to be the overhead donation UI with, like, it says Vibe Game. No one's claimed it yet, but uh, feel free to go grab that, and it is made by me. And, yeah, so go, go grab that. So once you have it, open up your game, your Roblox Studio, any of those. And um, and all you got to do is go into Toolbox, go into your inventory, and click My Models. Now, once you have that, you are going to see these. There's a bunch of these. Well, for me, it should, for you, it could just be one. Who knows? Um... But you're just going to grab one of that. So you're going to grab this, and it's going to put it right here. So let's dive right into that one. Okay, so you're probably wondering, what is this? This is a folder. Um, the folder is something you can just put things in. It doesn't really affect anything, but you're going to do that. So open the, up the folder, and you're going to see a bunch of these. and say ungroup and server script service and ungroup and starter player character scripts. Now, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. That's the badges. I shouldn't say badges. Should be this one. Stupid. So grab that one, the right one, just for next video. <laughs> so um, it's going to pawn in like this. It's going to spawn in like this. Now, this is the board right here, and we're going to talk about this in just a second. But yes, this is a folder, so you're going to open it up. Now, this is ungroup and workspace. So how you do these things, these are groups and models. You're going to grab this one. So this is a workspace. So we'll grab that, drag it into workspace, and right-click and hit ungroup. There you go. That one's done. Now, this is the board. So we're going to put that right there. Then this one says ungroup and replicate storage right here, replicated and ungroup. There we go. Now we have all these, and I'll explain them in a bit here. Ungroup and server script down here, and ungroup. Now we have those. Okay, so you're going to delete this, and let's talk about this. Also, if you don't have those uh, server script service or any of that, sometimes it happens with people. If I'm right, you can go into um, service service yes right here service and insert one of those so sometimes that happens with people but yeah so come on focus up there we go okay okay well now it's unfocused my camera doesn't like me so now that we have the board we're gonna look at this um i actually didn't make this this is someone else and it is used in many games if i've been with c uses it and everything like that so um pretty simple um okay so you open it up and once you open it up, there's a bunch of things here. There's asset loader, and this is like loading something like a plugin, I guess you could say, into this. And it's something that's already been made. Uh, you can read this if you want. Go ahead. Um, super simple. But the main thing about this is you have to leave this in the workspace for this to work. Leave this in workspace. Don't change the name. Don't touch it. Just leave it in workspace. Don't even model it into another thing. Just leave it like this for it to work. Now, how you're going to do this is you're going to open products. And you're going to go in here and change all these. Now, I'm going to show you what they are and how they work. But what this is is a donation board. And we're going to play right in, oh, well, yeah, well, I guess I'll just show you what we have already. But it's a donation board that 
basically displays all the donations of Robux of people that have donated to the game. So as you can see, we have the top 15 donators, amount of Robux, and donate. Now, this doesn't work in studio. I want to just explain to you guys. It doesn't work in studio. So if you want it to work, you have to test it in game. But it does work every game. Don't worry, it's not broken. You just It doesn't work in studio. But how this works is it will they'll click over here, click the buttons like 5, 10, 10, 15, 20, and you'll basically just donate to them. And it'll put your name on the leaderboard. It will refresh. And then this person right here will be changed into one person that you want to use. So the I mean will be changed into the top donator that's up on this list. And yes guys, this is something really cool that people love. So I'd recommend putting it in. So all you gotta change is this products. Uh, it's pretty easy, and also we're gonna go in R15 and look at this in a second here. Uh, but um, so how this works is you're gonna go to your game, and I'm gonna just load up mine. So we're gonna go to profile, and we're gonna let this guy focus up on me. Come on, I don't know why it's not focused all the time. Okay, okay. So vibe house right here, and we're gonna go to configure this game, and we're gonna go to developer products. Once we're at developer products, we're gonna go and look in here. Now, this is 10 cash. I mean, I named them differently, but all you got to do is look at this. So we have, yeah, 5, 10, 150. So all you're going to do, go into your developer products, create new, name it something like 10 donation Robux, uh, description, you know, name the description, and then price in Robux, um, and then choose a file. Once you hit create, it's going to create one of these, and you're going to grab this. So we're going to save five. So we're going to control C. This is the ID, and we're going to move this back over here. And you're going to copy it right here. Boop. Like that. Now, if you want to change the product price or any of that, so this is Robux right here. So that's how much it's going to cost in Robux. And this is the ID. So like I said, you have to make your own IDs or else this is going to be coming to me. You know, so don't do that. Um, make your own IDs and then just it will be displayed on the board basically. So once you do that, you'll be perfectly fine. So um, yeah, it's super simple, guys. 5, 10, 50, 100, you can change it to whatever you want, change these numbers just by going 15 or whatever, and then you just change the ID and make the ID of a de developer product. So yeah, simple. Now, if you want someone to be dancing right here, dancing something different, um, you can also go and use my uh, animation from uh, the last few videos and just grab one of the animations and make your own. But these ones do work, so you can grab them. But what you do is go and look at these comment section and look at what you want. You want hype dance, you want monkey, do you want around the town, you want wave, celebrate. So you can control C that, go right here into idle, and paste it right here. And that's going to change the way they are dancing. So we just changed it right now, and if we go test it, uh, it's going to be a different person dancing a different dance. So yeah, that's that's what something simple about is it's just changing uh, how they're dancing and you know what they're doing. So now let's go, well... Normally it should. Oh, it's loading. That's weird. Normally it should work, but basically it's just like a dance. I think that dance was not working. <laughs> but some of the dances work, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, but if you don't need to, if you don't know how to do that again, just go to my uh, last video on the R15 dummy and post paste that in. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's the board. Super simple. Um, you guys are probably wondering, what did I update from the last video? We're going to talk about that. We updated the VIP overhead script and added a few more. But um, let's go look at chat, chat tag GUI. So um, this is part of the server script service. And I updated it too. Oh, uh, this is what I updated too. So um, how this works is it's the Game Pass ID. Um, you know how to make a Game Pass. It's super simple, guys. Uh, we'll just go back, back. Back. <laughs> places vibe house so just right here super simple um and you can just grab one of those super simple and make one and then you're just grabbing a nine number right here so once you do that you're gonna put it right here and what's happening here is this is the chat tag so this is like what the person is speaking and like what's happening now the way what i did with these main scripts is i made it so it would work with owners too because i know you owners want to be recognized in the game and not just have the same thing as others so you can put your player name right here so it's going if player name and which is mine so you write in here you just delete this and put something else that you want and you can change this to vibe creator to uh anything you want you know vibe guy or owner 
and then this is the color of the tag. So this tag, color of that tag, you can change that just by clicking that. Super simple. And then also there is down here the VIP member with this. Um, now the only problem was it was it's setting. I don't know how to set. I thought it was working right here, but we're gonna. Sh I'll show you in a second here. Normally for VIP. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to text. Let's hope I can chat because it kind of pissed me off. Normally, VIP has uh, gold text. Mine has gold text too. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why Roblox is not letting me type in studio, but whatever. So it should say vibe creator and the text color. So just do that. You know, super simple. But now we're going to go over to the overhead GUIs and uh, how I made them and made them super better and clean and, you know, better just in general. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So we're good with that. We'll just get rid of it because I don't really need it. So let's look at all this. Um, it took me a while, guys. I had to get help again. Um, Neutron Flow helped me again with uh, the top donator because I was really confused. Um, so originally, you just had VIP and overhead. Now you have donator and owner. Now, um, what we're doing is we are grabbing all the overhead GIs right here and the services, and we're going to get the Game Pass ID and the group ID. Oh, you don't even need group ID now. Uh, I totally forgot, guys. Um, if you want. You can use it. Oh, wow, that's weird. I never even got rid of that. We don't need group ID, by the way. So you're good. You don't need that. That's weird. Um, but how I did this is the configuration. Now, this, why I said you leave it in workspace is because game.workspace.boards, which you're grabbing right here, going to R15. So we're going inside this. And we're going to configuration. Then we're going to donate ID, which is configuration.user ID. Now, how I'm calling it is where right here, so player added, um, this is the new ones. Um, we'll just look at top donate real quick. Um, if the player user ID, so their user ID is in their nine number, equals the value of the board, so this guy right here equals that, then they're going to get that overhead GUI when they reset. So that's how you did it. That's how I did it. Um, but yeah, guys, it took me a while, man. So we have the owner first. If you want, like I said, the name, just change your name to instead of twin plays right here, and you're good. Um, don't change anything else. Also, you could change this if you want this text to anything, uh, vibe creator to anything you want. Um, this is the donator, and you don't really need to touch this. This is the VIP, so it's asking if they have the game pass. Now, big one. For the people who are wondering about ranks and levels, I had to make a new one because, well, I'm not doing levels, okay? Zero, one, two, three, that stuff. I'm not doing levels. If you want me to do a level thing, I'm just going to make a whole separate video off of vibe berries because... I just think it's not really something that everyone should do. I mean, other games do it, but I don't like it. Um, but let's look at this real quick. So what we're doing is if they don't have any of these, so if they're not the owner, if they're not the top donator, if they're not VIP, then it's going to check if they have 10,000 points and above. If they do, they'll get the rank Vibe ins Insanity, and it's going to be a color. If they don't, then it's going to check if they have 5,000 and above, and it's going to give them Vibe Maniac. It's going to do that red color. And then if they don't have that, it's going to check if they have 1,000, Vibe God, repeat. Now, if you want to change the names, you can just change the text right here to anything you want, to Vibe Newbie, to Vibe God, that stuff. And you also can change the colors to anything you want. Now, if you are trying to add, all you got to do is, let's say right here, you go else if. Okay, now that looks weird. And then we're going to copy this. Boom. Oh, let's make that look nicer. And then we're going to go right here. Go like that. And then you just get rid of the else. Super simple. And make sure you can go, let's say, 100,000 now. And then vibe. Vibe. Uh, vibe no life. I don't know. So let's say that. And then you can change the colors to like something like pink or something like that. So let's say like that. And that's how that works. It's super simple. And then we're going to say 100,000. And I'll show you how they work too. But um, that's that. Super simple, you guys. Um, well, not really. It took a while. And we also are naming these, by the way, the names to overhead UI. And if you are trying to create your own overhead, make sure you name it the dot name. See how I have different names right here? Clone, donator, owner. Make sure you name it overhead because when you use that I button and it's not named overhead UI, it's not going to hide it. So that's how that works. Okay, and we're going to go look at these. Um, so I'm just going to insert a part right here, and we're going to look at some of these. Now, if you want uh, different things, you can change them however you like. So right here, we have the top donator. Um, in here, you can change the rank. 
to different text, anything like that. And how it has this gradient, it's gold, and then it's going through, I mean rainbow, and the script is making it so it's going through a tween service and making it all like super cool and everything like that. So that's Donator. You can change it up too. I, I meant to actually put this, I'll just put it in here, like that, because I thought that was better since that's kind of like matching. But um, now I realize it's actually kind of cool if you do it like that. So um, yeah, so that's the Donator. This is the normal overhead super easy it's not going to say group rank it'll say something else like newbie and that stuff so that's pretty simple you can change the color and the text down here and the properties down here um like that this is vip uh oh uh, well um in here it does a script to make the color go different so that's that and then we have owner now for mine uh, what the hell Oh, I didn't change these, did I? Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, well... Oh, no, I did. No, I'm right. I'm right. So this is the owner head. Uh, it's just a different gradient. And um, it's changing the text. It says top donator, but I totally forgot in the script. We're going to look at that real quick. Uh, right here it says vibe creator. So dot rank dot text is vibe creator. And you can change all these guys. It's super simple. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh... So we're going to hit play again and just look at them and uh, show you. Um, but yeah, I don't really have an idea of that one, so I'm going to show you. So yeah, see now it has, uh, see how it says Vibe Creator, sends up the owner, and then it goes through a little text UI of that. Um, pretty simple. Um, yeah, I can't really do anything since I, well, I could just name myself. I don't want to, but you guys understand the point. Um if it isn't that owner, it's going to do all the rest of the stuff. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. I thought it would be something cool because a lot of people are looking for these top donator stuff. I was looking for it, and all the other Vibe games have it. And I was like, you know, why don't we just do it? Why don't we just make it? And I'm going to be adding a lot more, you guys. Uh, a ton of more stuff. So, just wait for that. And, um, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's all I got for you guys. But, um, yeah, you guys. I hope you have a great night. And please watch the new one. It's going to be the badges. It's going to come out in just a second in a bit here. And I'll, yeah, be pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. But, um, yeah. Okay. See you guys. <laughs>